So we have these AI agents and browsers running all over our computers and stuff's going wrong. Get out of here. So for the last year and change, it's the course has been agent, agent, agent. These are systems that will independently go do multiple steps for us with just a little bit of human guidance. Now in K-12 and higher ed, it's getting squirrely. We were just wrapping our arms around the fact that a student could go to ChatGPT and either be this incredible tutor for them or a total shortcut and cheat. And now the plot thickens. There's this really big curriculum and platform company called Instructure. Instructure has a thing called Canvas. It's one of the world's leading learning management systems. It's used in 40% of American high schools and every Ivy League in the country. Now Instructure has a really sweet deal with OpenAI. So the higher ed folks have said, they're kind of knocking on the door saying, hey Instructure, will you ask OpenAI to knock it off so that we don't have AI agents running all over our learning management system doing work for kids? And Instructure said, let me think about it. Mm, no. So two reasons. First, they said this is very technically difficult. And second, they didn't want to stifle innovation. Now, interestingly, this is not just a higher ed and K-12 issue. Amazon just sent a cease and desist letter to Perplexity. Perplexity's got this AI Comet browser, and apparently Comet's been crawling all over the Amazon shopping site doing shopping for people. But Amazon has their own AI agent called Rufus. You can say, hey, Rufus, go research antibacterial sponges and check out for me. I don't know, was it really that hard to buy our own sponges? But apparently Rufus is going to do $10 billion of revenue this year. So Amazon has said to Perplexity, when the Comet browser is out there shopping, we want you to raise your hand and say, hey, I'm Comet. I'm just doing a little shopping for my human. Because as soon as they see that signal, otherwise you don't know it's there, Amazon will clearly shut it down. So certainly it doesn't seem like it's technically that difficult. It's just a question if the stars and the dollars are aligned, that you're willing to set the boundaries. So that's where we are today. We'll see where it goes. Drop me a note in the comments and let me know, is this innovation or are we going way too far and we'll keep the conversation going?